Hey guys, so as opposed to the typical GPU and computer hardware news, it looks like there's a lot more serious stuff going on in the world. But anyway, I figure let's talk about it. Let's try to make some sense of it and how it's going to affect everybody, not only health wise, but also in terms of what's going to happen in the future for people that have jobs in all of these different manufacturing areas, people that depend on this type of stuff. And then of course, what the future looks like for PC hardware. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, I'm pretty sure that most of you recently have been following the news and everything that's going on and you see that there are a lot more serious problems at hand than just computer hardware shortages and things like that. But to take our minds off these more serious topics, let's talk a little bit about how this is actually going to affect PC hardware. The number one of which being GPUs. Now Nvidia just announced that there's really not going to be any announcement at all. Previously at their GTC conference, at first it was going to be in person but as the worldwide situation worsened the ceo was going to do a keynote speech and it was going to be online like a webcast and then now recently they just completely canceled any type of announcement at all now this goes to show you how serious the situation we're in worldwide and basically it's so serious that they're not even going to announce any gpus or anything like that for the foreseeable future this most likely is that their own offices their people really can't work like they're telling people not to stay in big offices so their marketing departments their shipping departments they just can't have these bulk amount of people working in these sort of technological places if people are working from home it's a little bit more difficult in certain situations and of course not to mention the supply chains coming from asia that often that's where these gpus come from so while people are worried about their basic necessities like food and water and making sure to stay healthy this seems like a minor concern concern because we're just going to have to wait on these GPUs. So for now, even though they are still coming in the future, we don't really know when that is. Previously, I had mentioned that if you were waiting for the 3000 series NVIDIA GPUs or even AMD's Big Navi, it's going to be the same story there. I would just get something now if you really need it. Of course, get whatever important thing you need first, like food and water and all those necessities and make sure you're healthy. But especially now, if you're in need of upgrading your computer and you can still find something for a decent price, because these GPUs and the like are delayed into the future and who really knows what's gonna happen with them. And stepping away from AMD and Nvidia GPUs, in the processor side, it's gonna be much of the same story. Of course, we were waiting for Ryzen 4000 as well as the Intel CPUs, the temp generation to come out. But now those things don't seem nearly as important and all the CPUs that we have now and even the GPUs, they're fairly good technology. They're fairly adequate. It's not like we're really, really needing them. So this type of global crisis is definitely delaying that stuff. But I think we should appreciate the things that we have now, the technology we have now, because the current crop of processors and GPUs are definitely pretty good. And of course, I'd rather everything be flowing smoothly and safely worldwide rather than just get a bump in performance in the new Ryzen CPU or Intel CPU or whatever it may be. So going forward, both in terms of Nvidia, Intel and AMD, I think we're just going to get a lot less products. They're going to come out a lot later in the year. And this is really going to affect the general economy, most likely as it looks like. So we may just have a general decrease in consumer buying. Um, and it's definitely going to affect a lot in the future. So I guess my word for now is really take advantage of the hardware that we have now. Try to make the most of that type of technology and hardware because it really is pretty adequate. It's not like we really need a CPU or our 2080 Ti's are doing terribly. They're performing very well, and I understand we always want something faster and cheaper, but now that the global crisis is really, really setting in, I think we should really appreciate the technology that we have and see that it's pretty amazing. And we don't really have a choice anyway, because it's all either going to be delayed or maybe even some things may be canceled in the future. And just depending how the economy goes, we're even going to have less and less maybe this year and going into next year. And I think across the entire PC hardware industry, we're talking about mice and keyboards and monitors, we're definitely going to see a slow and newer products 
both because of the immediate health issue that just like these people have to shut down. These corporations often have to shut down their offices, their manufacturing facilities. I think we're just going to have a lot less of everything during the next year. And of course, I'd rather people be healthy and not be put into these situations. So I'm OK with that. So maybe even going forward this year, I'm going to try to focus on a lot of hardware that's out already on the market, even a lot of affordable hardware. That way, whoever's building the PC, you can easily find these parts. You may have them yourself already. You may be able to get it on eBay or the secondhand market, because I think we're going to have to appreciate a little bit more, not only being healthy, but the technology that we have now and make the most that we can out of it. I, for one, know that I'm going to have some fun sort of taking down computers that I've built already and either rebuilding the same computer in a different way or moving it to a different case using the same components or something like that. There's not going to be that much new stuff coming out anyway. So I'm just going to look for a different and new perspective on stuff that's existing. And I think if we all do that, we'll take advantage of stuff we already have without having to mindlessly upgrade anyway. We don't have much of a choice all right guys just wanted to make this little video just to kind of talk about what's going on in general what do you guys think of the current situation write a comment down below i'm curious what you think it's going to affect generally not only the world health but also sort of pc gaming and the market in general